We go to the fourth inning in a 1 1 game. Paul Goldschmidt will lead off against Steven Matz, and we're very pleased to be joined from the Mets dugout by Mets third baseman outfielder J.D. Davis. I'm, I'm trying to think about your full title now that you are playing so much left field. How, how is that transition going for you? Yeah, it's going, you know, going pretty good. Uh, you know, it's just like riding a bike. Uh, I didn't get that much reps during spring training um, and then throw them back into the fire, but. Um, you know, we slowly got in with it with uh, uh, Louis Rojas, and then uh, Chile helped out a little bit. Um, but we started out with the, when we were in Atlanta, um, just getting in every other day or every other three days, just early work out there, um, getting some live reads. And you know, it's been a slow process into there. And then when I started feeling comfortable, they threw me out there, and uh, uh, I think it was the first time in uh, Miami uh, we had that series. And just to get at least a couple innings defensively out there, and then I got a full start. Um, I don't know where. I think it was back at home. Uh, when you're playing out and left, JD, you're you know you're an infielder. Uh, have you been able having a hard time separating the defense from your offense as it as it kind of kind of leaked in on that? Mm. Yeah, I mean I wouldn't say no because I. I I used to be that guy where like it affected my defense affected my offense my off offense affected my defense um, and uh, it helped me out the single A coach back with the Astros to like really separate the two and you know do my part at least with the bat or make a play on defense when I wasn't swinging the bat uh, good so um, but uh, no I mean it, it's it's a process out there I know I'm not you know a gold glove just yet so uh, I think the best thing that you know tips that you know Louis has been helping me out is just as an infielder it's easier to come in and go back so I always start about you know two or three steps uh, back than the normal position uh, than the than what the card says so uh, you know I just uh, try to do my part catch the balls that are hit at me and uh, you know just make some plays he cuts his hair and he throws more junk than ever up uh, JD. You and Dom Smith have both been extremely successful coming off the bench and I'm wondering how you have gone about the preparation that's necessary to be successful in that regard. <laughs> Uh, no, we just keep it loose in the in the cages. You know, it's uh, it's you know we could put as much pressure on us uh, just you know one at bat coming off the bench, and you know uh, I think that's when guys you know get in trouble and they start making mistakes. They put too much pressure on that one at bat, and they expect the uh, the man or they think the manager's expecting you to hit a home run or get a hit every single time, and it's tough. The guys that play every day, you know, they they get out, so it's not much of a a low expectation when you come off the bench and you know um, I think we just try to keep it loose in the cages and uh, do our homework you know we have a good system where uh, we get good scouting reports for relievers and we have that new VR machine which helps us out get getting prepared so uh, but uh, but no I mean we just have a good time uh, we just try to do our part and pass the baton I think that's the that's the thing that we're kind of as young guys coming up is you know pass the baton and have some fun. That's some fantastic power of concentration there for J.D. Under attack from all sides. We give you great points for that. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Go find a safe haven. 